In this video I'm going to show you how I drip acclimate a new addition to my tank. Uh, for this example it's going to be a harlequin shrimp so I'm going to just acclimate it directly uh, to my display tank but of course if this was a fish you would want to quarantine it uh, so you would be acclimating it uh, to your quarantine or hospital tank. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to temperature acclimate our new arrival here. Uh, now temperature acclimating, what that's going to do is that is going to equalize the temperature between uh, the, the water that's in the bag to your system. So I'm placing it right in my sump here. And if you didn't have a sump, you can float the bag in your display tank, but I prefer to use my sump because that way it doesn't float around on the top of the tank and get you know near an overflow or whatever. And I like using these little uh, spring clamps like this to uh, make sure that the bag doesn't float away. And I'm going to leave it sit here for about 20 minutes. This is what I use for acclimating. Uh, it's a real simple little drip kit. I take a one gallon plastic bucket I put it inside of a larger bucket in case uh, it overflows, don't want to mess on the floor. A couple of clothes pins holds a piece of airline tubing and the airline tubing goes up to a valve that I can control the, uh, the drip rate. And then there's a piece of rigid tubing that's been formed to uh, fit into the tank. So you just start a siphon on it get the drip rate set to where you want it and you're good to go. Now you don't want it dripping too slow. This is actually uh, set a little bit slow. Uh, see if I can't increase it a little bit. You don't want it totally a total stream. You just want it to drip really fast like about right there so let's add our shrimp okay there's our little harlequin shrimp in the bucket acclimating uh, if they don't ship it with uh, very much water in the bag uh, enough you need enough water in there to cover the animal uh, one thing that you can do is you can tilt the bucket to make the water level deeper on the one side and put a 2 by 4 piece of wood or something on the one side of the bucket uh, to keep it angled until you do get enough water in the bucket uh, to cover the animal. I'm going to leave this sit and drip for a, probably a little bit over an hour. Uh, if it's a delicate species, uh, longer is always better. I don't really think that you can over acclimate something uh, as long as the temperature doesn't drop, but my fish room here it stays pretty much the same temperature uh, as the tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up and this does two things. Uh, if you have a fish that likes to jump, it keeps it from jumping out of the bucket. Of course, the shrimp isn't going to jump out of there, but it also blocks out the light, which uh, aids in uh, not stressing out the animals so much. And I'll go back and I'll check it like maybe every 15 to 20 minutes to make sure that the bucket isn't overflowing in there. Uh, but once it does get filled up, you want to take a little bit of the water out and continue acclimating. One other thing that I need to mention is if you have an automatic top-off system on your display tank or your hospital tank, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you unplug it so that you don't start pumping fresh water into the system as the siphon is pulling out your salt water. Of course, that will lower the salinity in the tank. What you want to do while it's acclimating, if you got time, is to mix up a little bit of salt water that you can add to the uh, system to make up for the water that you've taken out doing your acclimating. Now let's take a look here and see how things are going. Everything's going just fine. Uh, and you may ask, uh, why do I need to acclimate uh, something that I get? Why can't I just take it out of the bag and dump it right into the tank? Well, the reason that you want to acclimate something is you want to adjust whatever the water conditions uh, that the animal was in, you want to adjust those very slowly uh, to the conditions of your water. Uh, there's so many different variances, uh, temperature, salinities, 
alkalinity, uh, just everything, uh, pH, that you want to slowly adjust the animal to its new water that it's going to be in. It'll be less shock and then therefore it'll be less stress on the animal and you'll have better success with your livestock. Now here's something that I do not uh, drip acclimate. Uh, while I do temperature acclimate, uh, coral frags, I do not drip acclimate them. What I do is I simply uh, put the corals uh, and the water that were in the bags uh, into the bucket here and then I add a small amount of water from my aquarium into the bucket uh, after they're temperature acclimated. And then I add a product uh, called Flatworm Exit. Uh, this kills any red planaria or flatworms that may be on the frags. And then after letting that sit for about half hour to 45 minutes, I also add some of this product right here. Uh, what this does is it helps prevent you from transferring any type of pests that may be on these frags from someone else's tank into yours. It's a preventative measure which will prevent a lot of headaches uh, in the future because you don't want to get any nasty pests in your display tank. So I've added a drop of the flatworm exit into the bucket. I just stir it around here a little bit. And you always want to follow the manufacturer's instructions for any product. I'll set a timer, let this sit for about, like I said, half hour, 45 minutes. If there are any flatworms on these frags, you'll see them in the bottom of the bucket. And then we'll add our other product, and then we'll place the frags in the tank. Okay, these frags have been soaking in both of the products that I use. So, before I'm going to put them in my tank, I'm going to give them a nice little swish. Place them in. So about 90 minutes have passed. Let's see how things are looking in here. And you can see the bucket is pretty full. The shrimp's still in there. So now I want to shut off the drip by pulling the tube out of the tank and wait for the water to stop dripping down there. carefully net the shrimp out. I like using a uh, little brine shrimp net. Uh, it's really nice and soft. Uh, of course it's not very big so if you've got a larger fish it's not going to work but something like this will work really well. You want to be gentle with it. You don't want to chasing it all over the tank so it'll just swim right into the net like you see it'll crawl right in there and I'll place it in the tank okay now normally when I'm going to be putting something in the tank for the very first time I turn off the lights but you're not going to be able to see anything if I do that so there's our shrimp in the net I did turn off uh, all the power heads that I got going in here just so that it's nice and gentle and and there it goes and I usually give it a little bit of time and find a little place for it to go and 
maybe fend off uh, any fish that might try to come and peck at it right away not knowing what it is but everything looks pretty good uh, seems to be doing pretty well for just going in there the fish don't seem to mind so I'm going to pull the net out of here and then I'm going to uh, turn off the light and that will help it uh, adjust a little better by shutting the light off there it is right there a um, little bit more calm having the uh, the lights turned off allow it to adjust the fish will kind of go to sleep and uh, won't bother it at all so I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time happy reefing <laughs>